Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be solving a problem called present sales after n days. So this problem is uh, tagged as medium on lead code, uh, but this problem is a bit tricky if you don't know exactly uh, how to solve it. So this is a very important and very frequent question we usually see in online assessments like uh, Amazon or any other companies. So I have personally seen this problem on online assessments. The online assessments which will happen before your interviews will be scheduled so let's go through this problem statement and let's see what it's asking so it says there are eight present cells in a row and each cells either occupied or vacant each day whether a cell is occupied or vacant changes according to the following rules so what are the two rules if a cell has two adjacent neighbors that are both occupied or both vacant then the cell becomes occupied otherwise it's vacant so what uh, basically this means is a cell is occupied when it's 1 and it's vacant when it's 0. So a cell, let's say in this example, a cell like this, it is 0 and it has both the adjacent cells as 1, like this and this. So after one day, this middle cell will be uh, occupied because the condition says here is if at any position if both the adjacents are having same value only then it will be occupied or else it will be zero or which means vacant so here a note says that because the prison is in a row first and last last cell of the row cannot have two adjacent neighbors so for example over here we can see this first one and last one this cannot have two neighbors because there is nothing on the left side of the first one and there is nothing on the right side of the last one so for these two cells everything is zero like we can see over here everything is um, vacant so what we have to find out is we describe the current state of the prison cells of i equals to one if i h cell is occupied and cells of i equals to zero it's if it's uh, vacant so as i have said so given the initial state of the prison so this will be given to us and an n value which indicates the n days we have to return what will be the state of the cell after n days so this is the problem now let's go to uh, the constraints and look at the constraints it says the n value can be 1 2 10 to the power as big as 10 to the power 9 so this 10 to the power 9 is so big that you cannot just simulate this whole process by doing a brute force approach even if you do it in a brute force way in order of n still it will be giving us TLE so that's why we have to now find out somehow a better approach to solve this problem where we can avoid this TLE and get our solution to be accepted so now let's go to the whiteboard and let's see how we can do this now the example from lead code over here here the first stage uh, cell see the condition is given like the combination of cells on the first day is given so here this cell is vacant this cell is occupied this cell is vacant and so on and end given is 7 so we have to return what is the uh, like state of the cells after n days so first of all i have written down the way they are transforming okay so first of all at day 0 it is given so at day one how we are getting this cell so first of all we have to understand that okay so here we can see that the first index and the last index the n minus 1 uh, 8 minus 1 that is seventh index will always be 0 and rest of them we can just simply do a for loop from 1 to 7 and check all the values on the left and right if they are same then we are placing 1 now for this one we are checking both the sides they are same that's why one now for this one both are not same that's why zero and so on and so forth so we can fill fill up this whole array like this so i have left one vacant so that we can do it together for one example let's say now we are here we have two separate values over here so we will put zero over here now we are over here two different so it will be zero over here now we are at the third index again two different so here it will be zero now here they are two same so one now here two same so one now here two same so one so like this we can just fill up the whole thing and after doing it several times at that day seven we can see we are getting this as an output because this is the 
state of the cell after n days so now you might think that this is very easy to do and simulate like in order of n time uh, this all like a linear traversal for all the arrays and we just simulate like check both the conditions left and right and we make it according to 0 or 1 but here is one problem if we have to do it n times and so we have to do what n times if we have to do it in brute force way so n times and at each level we have to go through six elements so n into six so we go of n into six will be our time complexity which is quite equal to we go of n but here the n can be less than equal to 10 to the power 9 and greater than equal to 1 so this is a very huge like 10 to the power 9 is a very huge value so if you do it in 10 to the power n at worst case then it will give us TLE so we have to do something better so for that we have to make some observations over here so I have written down this over here always there will be 8 cells and these 2 cells will be always 0 so in between there are how many cells from here to here there are six cells okay so at each cell we have only two condition only two possible values can be there in each cell either zero either one either zero either one zero one zero one zero one zero one so at most how many possible combinations are there of six vacant spaces that is two into two into two into two into two into two and that is 2 to the power 6 equals to 64 so there can be only 64 combinations of zeros and ones which can be placed in between these two zeros so after that what will happen the same uh, values which we already got will be repeated like there will be a cycle formed so after that if a cycle formed we can already tell from the size of the cycle that how many operations we need to do we don't need to do the whole n operations so now here we can observe one another thing that is even we are getting this value at as 64 we the actual combination value will be much more less than 64 and why is that let me explain so again i will be drawing eight vacant spaces one two three four five six seven eight so here they will be 0 and 0 and let's say at alternative places we have fixed values alternative places we have fixed values and at three, these three locations we have to place our values okay so what these values of these three locations can be so if we just draw a chart like a truth table of zeros and ones where n is 3 there can be only eight possibilities right so there can be eight possibilities of filling out these three locations and if these three locations are filled out for a specific combination only again eight possibilities can be there for each combination so let's say we have zero over here and one two three four five six seven eight and zero over here so let's say here at alternative places we already put some values like let's say 101 101 over here so now we have these three places where we need to place again 1 and 0 so there can be only one exact possible combination to place 1 or 0 over here because we also have to keep in mind that here it will be only one if both of these are same value and here also only one if both of these are same value so we have to put here zero because they are different we can see here also zero because they are different here also zero because they are different so here one two three four five six seven eight yeah they are different so there cannot be any other possibilities anyways to fill this up for a given value of this abc so you are getting right so there can be eight number of possibilities for this abc and for each eight possibilities there can be only one values so it will be what eight into eight total 16 possibilities possibilities only to fill up these six places out of 64 only 16 can be possible so we have already uh, reduced from 10 to the power 9 to 64 now we can further reduce and say by proof that only there can be 16 unique combination at most so after that they will get repeated 
and will form a cycle so now after we know they will form a cycle what we can do is like we can start generating this uh, sequences like like we are will be seeing all the adjacent values and will be placing one and zeros and so on so forth and we will be storing them into a hash sheet so we will be having a hash sheet where we will be storing these combinations like this and this as a string and we will be storing all the unique combinations over here and whenever we get a same combination which already exists in this table hash table we will see what there is a cycle so we will count the total number of cycle so let's say the cycle count c is 3 so that means after three values we are getting a cycle and the n given over here is a very big number let's say 1000 so we don't need to perform 1000 operations we just need to perform 1000 mod 3 because 1000 by 3 will be the number after which the cell which was given at the first day will be again come back and will have the same value because it is neutralizing each other so after that how many values will be left that many operations we only have to do so that's why our required number of operation is 10 to the power uh, sorry whatever the n is mod the cycle count so we will count the cycle like as i said using this hash sheet so after that there can be two possibilities one is that this n value is lesser than this cycle count so if it's lesser than the cycle count then before reaching the cycle we have to return so that is when we just only have to simulate this process and after simulation if our n becomes zero then we will simply return it or unless or until n is greater than c then what we will do is n mod c so this many times we have to perform this operation which is simulation of this process so this is the core logic of this program and now we will go to the code editor and let's see how we can solve this using python programming language now i am explaining you the code and how this code is working so first of all as i've already said we will be using a hash table so that's why or sorry hash sheet so that's why we are initializing this thin hash sheet over here and we will be taking account of cycle so that's why it is initialized as zero and what this boolean uh, is cyclic is let's say we are given n as 8 and the cycle we are getting after 10 iteration so n is less than uh, cycle so that means what before reaching the cycle we have to return so that's why we will be checking that even if we have cycle or not if we have cycle then only we will be executing this mod thing so so let's go uh, line by line like this code is doing what we are making a, a loop from 0 to n and we are calculating next state of each cell using this function called next day so what this function next day is doing it is doing basically a simple work like making a temp uh, array of size 8 and initializing with 0 and simulating that process of middle 6 element either 0 or 1 and how we are uh, finding out if it's 0 or 1 if cell of i minus 1 is equals to cell of i plus 1 then it's 1 or else 0 so this function is pretty simple i guess you can understand so after that this if and else part is nothing but we are checking that if next state is already in sin that means it is cyclic so we are making it true or else we are adding it to the adding it by making the string and adding it to the scene and incrementing this cycle cycle count and uh, at each step the next step will be uh, copied to this cell because after let's say over here after day one we are having this combination so at day two we have to perform the same operation on this so we have to uh, again change the current cell to the next state so that is what we are doing so after this uh, this whole for loop is executed we will be checking if there exists cycle or not using this variable so if there is cycle then we will be modding n with the cycle count and we will be then doing that many operation on cells and we will be getting this next day using next day function now after that we simply return cell so this is the whole code i guess this is pretty self explanatory and you can understand it so while submitting it i will also tell you the time complexity will not be big of n because at worst case it won't go 
to exactly n because we are finding out if it's cyclic or not so it will be much much less than n so that is how we will be able to solve even though our constraints is so big so that is how we have to solve this problem and hope you guys liked it and understood this problem and if you did please make sure to like and subscribe and also share my content with your friends thank you